so you're ready to order a rear end, but you don't know what gear ratio to choose. Today, I'm gonna show you how. Hi, I'm John Henson for Curry Enterprises, and today I'm gonna help you choose your gear ratio. So you're ready to order a rear end, and you're not quite sure what gear ratio you should set it up with. I'm gonna show you where to go and what pieces of information that you're gonna need in order to make the right decision. On our website, we actually have a calculator that's gonna allow you to go through a couple of options and decide which one's gonna be best for you. So let's go right into the website. We're gonna to go to curryenterprises.com, and right from the home page, we're gonna go ahead and click on the calculator link right across the top. Now you'll notice we have several different calculators on here. I like to use the Find RPM. And the reason why I like to do that is in a street car or a muscle car or your traditional hot rod, you're basically trying to decide at what RPM is your engine gonna be spinning at a specific mile per hour. So you can find mile per hour or find RPM. Let's click on Find RPM. Now, I like to calculate for 75 miles per hour. That's a basic freeway speed that most of us have traveled, and we want to kind of know what our engine is going to spin at 75. So for mile per hour, we're going to put in 75 miles per hour. Now for axle ratio, the beauty of a 9-inch is there's a lot to choose from. You've got everything from a 3.0 ratio all the way up to a, a high 6s. So if you're thinking or have an idea already, let's go ahead and just put that in to kind of give us a base. So we're going to start with a basic 325. The next piece of information that you're going to need to know is what the final ratio is on your transmission. Now if you have a 700R4, 4L60E, 4L80E, Ford AOD, all of that information is available online or from the transmission manufacturer. Let's go ahead and just say you have a 700R4 and your overdrive ratio in fourth gear is 0.7. Now most street cars, you won't have to worry about this next field, transfer case ratio. If you were trying to figure out on a four wheel drive vehicle, what your final RPM would be, you would need to know that as far as what your transfer case is. But in this case, since it's a street car, we're going to go ahead and just say one. And then the last piece of information that you're going to need to know is what the overall tire diameter is. Now, if you only know the size, which say is 275, 50, 16, you can actually use our calculator page to find out what that is in inches, or I highly recommend actually breaking out a tape measure and measuring what the diameter of the tire is. The reason why I say that is because sometimes tire manufacturers may vary by diameter. So for this case, we're going to say your tire measured out at 26 inches. Now hit calculate. And that's going to say at 75 miles per hour with a 325 gear, you're going to spin 2,200 RPM. Now, that may be too low or too high, depending on the motor you have. If you've got a big block that already pulls a whole lot of torque, you might actually want a little more RPM or a little less RPM. So what you can do is vary your axle ratio field here by the next step up, 350, and then hit Calculate. And that's going to tell you the difference between a 325 and a 350 gear at that same mile per hour. If you need help choosing or knowing what ratios are available, you can go back to our website and actually shop different ring gears or different third members so that you have a listing of all of the ratios that are available from a 3.0 to 3.25, 3.50, 370, and on up from there. If you have any further questions on how to choose a gear ratio, please feel free to give us a call, send us an email, or leave a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe here. For more tech videos, click here. And for more curry content, click here. Thanks for watching, guys.